Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from scientific cooking using scientific methods from 1911, we're going to be making the chicken sandwich. Now, 1911 saw Roald Amundsen and four others reach the South Pole, the first human beings to ever do that. Uh, Mazzola corn oil was sold for the first time for home use. And uh, actor, comedian, and amazing businesswoman Lucille Ball was born. And if you like Star Trek, you have Lucille Ball to thank for it. First thing we do is moisten some chicken with some mayonnaise. And uh, mayonnaise was first commercially available in 1907, uh, and by 1911 was pretty widely popular. And now the recipe says to butter the bread with mayonnaise. That's right, we're buttering bread with mayonnaise. 1911, it's science, folks. And on top of that, a leaf of lettuce. Okay, let's give this chicken sandwich a go. It's fine. I mean, it's chicken, mayonnaise, and lettuce. It's a little bare bones, I do think we can plus this up. First, I'm gonna put on some everyday seasoning from Daybreak Seaweed Company. It's garlic, crunch, and umami. It's got chili, garlic, seaweed, also adding bacon. Woo! Okay, let's give this chicken sandwich plussed up with the everyday seasoning from Daybreak Seaweed Company and bacon. We'll go. That is delicious. The seaweed is bringing a little bit of salt. There's a little bit of pepper in there, uh, garlic, onion, and then you've got that with the bacon, helping to make this sandwich taste much better than it did before. It's still a chicken sandwich. Chicken is still the primary ingredient, but now it's just better. So here's the deal. Uh, bacon is, of course, a cheat code. Bacon can plus up any sandwich. I tend to not use it a lot, and I tend to not add it to sandwiches that don't already have animal protein on it already, because it kind of steals the show. But here I figure, plenty of chicken. Bacon will act as a highlight, and it did. With the original chicken sandwich, fine. Uh, middle of the road, tasty. Five. Plus up with the uh, everyday seasoning from the Daybreak Seaweed Company and the bacon. That's like a seven and a half. That is delicious. I'm absolutely going to finish that and I would make the plus up version again anytime. All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs>